What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. I'm on Madden and today we got the Tennessee Titans. Their draft is pretty interesting. They went out and got a ton of help for their second secondary. They got Caleb Farley and Elijah Molden. I like both of those picks a lot actually. I think they're a really good value for where they got them at. And they needed the help there so I love those moves. On offense, they went out and got help at tackle. I think that's really important too. Obviously, the addition of Julio Jones in the offseason as well is absolutely massive. I love this team now. If Ryan Tannehill can play some good football like he has been, they got a real shot to make a run into the deep into the playoffs. I mean, I don't know about Super Bowl. They got some tough teams to compete with, but uh, they got a shot. So we're going to get into this first season, see if we make the playoffs. And if we don't, we're going to hop into the offseason and try to fix the team. Let's get into it. All right, first season, and we actually missed the playoffs. We were actually really bad. Um, Not sure how we were that bad, but either way, we're going to get into the offseason and try to make this team better, and hopefully we'll be in the playoffs next year. All right, first week of free agency, we threw out some offers. We really needed a tight end, some defensive line help, and maybe an outside linebacker. We put out offers on all of those guys. We get Gerald Everett, big help at tight ends. Love that, love that. Love getting Tannehill another weapon to use. Jarrell Casey is coming back. He's gonna help out the D-line along with Jerron Reed. And Antonio Brown is gonna be our number three wide receiver now. We don't get Melvin Ingram, but that's okay. We are going to hop into the draft now and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we are hopping into the draft. I'd like to get a little more help on defensive line and maybe... You know, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see what's there when we get there. It doesn't look like anything that I wanted is, or any of the players I wanted, I guess, are going to be there. We could go out and get Kyle Hamilton. We could get to Marvin Leal. Or we could go all the way down to, like, Drake Jackson. But I think we're going to go for Leal. I've never gotten him before. And I know he's supposed to be really good. He is really good. 78 overall. That's going to be an immediate starter for us. We'll probably slide him out to... Like left end probably will take Jarrell Casey's spot. We'll see though. We'll see. I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet, but what can we do with our second round pick? Not a whole lot here. Is, mm, eh, let's go LSU. I love LSU, so we're gonna go for it. He's not good at all. That's gonna be the draft. We don't have a third round pick, I don't think. Maybe we weren't supposed to have our second round pick. I don't know. The trade was. I don't remember what they were, yeah, yeah, either way, either way, we're not using any more picks, so the Julio trade isn't going to impact this too much, um, we're going to get into the next season and see, uh, see how we do, I think we're going to be in the playoffs for sure, our team is really good, I'm going to be surprised if we don't make them, and I think, honestly, I think we got a really good shot at making the Super Bowl, but it's Madden, so we will see, we're going to get into it, alright, second season, it looks like we did a lot better, <laughs> a lot better, 15 and 1 is crazy. We'll take that. We'll take that. Um, Ryan Tannehill, absolutely phenomenal. That's the best. It's one of the best seasons I've seen in Madden in a long time. Really good year for my running game. Antonio Brown, <laughs> incredible, incredible. I mean, that's one of the best receiving seasons I've seen in a long time too. See Caleb Farley, three interceptions. Elijah Molden, two. We'll take it. That's such a good year. That's such a good year. Um, we're gonna hop into the. F well, we probably got a first round bye, huh? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to the divisional championship, then upgrade players and uh, see if we can win this first game. All right, we got the Bengals in week one. Don't get me wrong, I love Joey B, but I don't think their roster is remotely close to as good as ours. And we do pick up the win. We're gonna upgrade players and get into this next game. All right, we got the Broncos in the next game. Once again, I don't think this is going to be even close, to be honest. The Broncos' defense is solid, but the offense isn't. We pick up a huge dub. We are in the Super Bowl. We're going up against the Packers. That's going to be tough, but uh, we're going to hop into it and actually play this game. So let's go. Let's get into it, guys. All right, we are hopping into the game. This is all about the upgrades that the Titans got during the draft. So Caleb Farley, Elijah Molden, they're on defense. So we're just playing defense. And we got to step up and play well today. We got the Packers. We know the Packers have a really, really good defense. Or not, well, their defense is pretty solid too. But they got a really, really good offense. Got to figure out how to stop Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, and Aaron Jones. What a squad that is. I thought I had a pick on the first play. 
Should have had a pick on the first play, but I guess I just missed the angle a little bit. Read it perfectly, but just missed the angle. Rashawn Evans couldn't quite get there for me, but that's all right. That's all right. We're going we're gonna to make some plays later on. Aaron Jones completely missed the hole, and I completely missed him because he missed it. But we recover. Only a three-yard gain. No big deal. Let's see what else we can do. This Packers offense is good. If Rodgers comes back, they're going to be competitive, as always. And I don't know how well the Titans would uh, would match up against the Packers, honestly. I just, I don't know. I don't know. If something tells me the Packers would do well, Aaron Rodgers could probably do big things against this secondary. But who knows? Could totally be wrong. What a throw. On the run, out to the sideline. Marquez Valdez-Scantling gets a big catch. <sighs> I don't know why my deep blue wasn't covering that a little better, considering that is the only guy that was on his side, but that's okay. And <laughs> Devontae Adams doing his thing, absolutely burns Elijah Molden, and that's a touchdown. I probably shouldn't be manning up Elijah Molden against Devontae Adams. That's pretty fair. So we give up a touchdown on the first drive. We need our offense to help us out here, and so far they are doing just that. They are going all the way down the field. Please score Derrick Henry. Touchdown. He's, he's, you know, he's keeping it close for us. We need that. Um, <laughs> and now I just got to figure out how to actually hold up against this, uh, this offense. And I completely screwed that up. Yes, Kevin Byard. What a play. Kevin Byard comes flying down and gets the hit on Devontae Adams. We'll take that. We are also going to put Caleb Farley on Devontae Adams because, <laughs> because we need to. Um, Devonte Adams is gonna do the most damage by far on this team. We gotta get, we gotta get him covered up. If we can slow Adams down, we can slow this team down. I genuinely feel like that's the case. Why? Why did you not make the tackle, Brown? I literally am sitting there running into Aaron Jones, like full on running into him, slowing him, stopping him from moving, but no attempt to wrap up whatsoever. Even though I clicked the button like three times. I just don't know how to tackle in this game. <laughs> Unfortunate, but oh well, what are you going to do? Um, we got to figure out how to hold up again. I thought we had an easy stop there, but uh, we do not. Man, so what do you guys uh, What do you guys think about the Titans offseason this year? I really, really like it. Getting another big weapon for Tannehill is huge. Uh, losing Johnny Smith sucked, but they go out and they get, they get Julio Jones to replace him in the passing game. Like, that's huge. Um, defensively, I still don't love their defense, honestly. I like the moves they made. I like Elijah Molden and Caleb Farley. It's just still something isn't quite, quite right with it, I feel like. I feel like I didn't like the Bud Dupree move that much. He's a decent pass rusher, but like every... Oh, Harold Landry gets an interception. What? Oh, that is huge. Out of nowhere, Rodgers throws a pick. Love that. Now we need our offense to get another touchdown. Um, but yeah, I something about this defense just isn't quite right to me. Maybe it's just the fact they don't have a great like stud pass rusher or something. I don't really know. We get a field goal. It's not quite what we wanted, but we'll take it. Uh, I don't quite know what it is. They just don't have, I guess, the same star power as a lot of the other offense or defenses in the league. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. They need to develop more too, um, which they probably will. They got a lot of good young players, Rashawn Evans, Jeffrey Simmons. Um, they, they have potential. We'll see how it pans out for them. Uh, I do love their offense, though. I think I think with the way that the league is now, I think Derrick Henry is an absolute beast. I really don't think he should be, but I think people are too scared to hit him, and I think that really has an impact, which, I mean, I'd be scared to hit him, too. But, you know, I'm not an NFL player for a reason. So, um, you know, I love their offense. Derrick Henry goes crazy all the time. Julio Jones top three receiver AJ Brown one of the best up and coming guys in the league Caleb Farley lays a hit on Ooh, that was a very late hit I should have gotten flagged there for sure but that's okay only a four yard gain for Devontae Adams they only have 27 seconds we really need to hold up here and hold them to a field goal that would that would help a lot that would make me feel much better about this game and Devontae Adams get him down short Oh man, oh man, oh man, what a tackle that was. Uh, I don't even know who that is. Crookshank? Is that what is. Kind of like what it looked like, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I know I've seen his name, but I don't know what it is. Yes, we get through for the sack. Harold Landry gets a sack. Another huge play from him. That could completely change the course of this game. Just like that. That is huge. Exactly what we needed. Please hold up. Hold up. Oh, come on. Get him down. Get him down. They're not going to have time to get a field goal. They are not going to have time to get a field goal. No way. Oh, they ran no huddle. Yes. 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 We hold them. They get no points at all. That is the absolute best outcome we could have had there. That tackle on the one yard line ended up being huge. And we're looking good now. Come on. Oh. Offense can't do anything with the first drive. I was hopeful. Defense has got to roll back out. We got to make another stop, which has not been easy so far. We got lucky with one interception, and that's really the only reason we're up in this game. Which, it's fine, it's fine. It's the Packers, you know? They're going to be tough to get a lead on. Oh, no. Oh, I just missed the angle. Just missed the angle with Rashawn Evans. Should have had Aaron Jones down for just a yard or two, and instead he rips off a huge carry. That is not what I needed. That is not what I needed. Yeah, I mean, what do you guys think the Titans need to do to put themselves in the position to win a Super Bowl? Uh, Aaron Jones is going crazy. I mean, I think they I think they need some work still, but what do you guys think? I think they're one of the better teams in football. I do. Um, I'm really curious to see how they do. It seems like they've overperformed every year for a while now. You know, like, it just it seems like they've done better than everyone expects. We'll see if they can continue to do that. Um, if they can, they could could realistically be in the position to do some damage this year. But let me know what you guys think. Always curious to hear your guys' opinions. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can win this game. I would love to get another good defensive performance. And I am switching on to the wrong guys. Nice. I thought I was going to have an interception there, so I completely misplayed that. I don't know why I thought I was going to have an interception, but I did. Um, oh boy. All right, they look like they're going to run. Kevin Byard, we need you to make a play. Come on. Come on. No, yep. <laughs> I'm probably the reason we didn't get that stop there, so. I thought Rodgers was going to fake it again. He did not, and they got a touchdown. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is low-key. He's, he's, he's doing big things for them right now. He's gotten a couple of broken tackles. There's Derrick Henry getting involved in the run game, or in the passing game, but... There's a big sack right afterwards, and that is going to make things difficult here. Uh, we got to figure out how to get a stop, and we got to figure out how to get a stop quick. Why are you running away from Devontae Adams, Caleb Farley? Have it set to be by overall. He should be on Devontae Adams every single play, and that was man-to-man -man coverage too, so he definitely should have been on Devontae Adams. But he wasn't. Um, yeah, third and five. We got to get a stop. No, 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 no. We got to run a different defense. There's no way. We can have Rashawn Evans covering Devontae in man-to-man -man in zone. Yes! Yes, that's short. He did not get there. He did not get there. Fourth in inches. We get the stop. Oh, man. That is as close as it can be. Huge pass to Derrick Henry right there. We are in field goal range, but we need a touchdown. Fourth and one, and Derrick Henry goes down for a loss. That is... <laughs> hmm, hmm. That is rough. That is rough. Um, We've got to figure out how to get a stop here, and we got to figure out how to get a stop quick. They're probably going to run the ball every play, I would guess. They want to take as much time off the clock, right? I mean, I don't know that, but that's, that's, that's what I'm expecting from them. And they're just gonna. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Jayon Brown drags him down. That was Loki a nice tackle right there and saved saved the day. Um, because I have used my timeouts. So if I don't get the stop here, we don't get the stop at all. <laughs> most likely, most likely. Uh, ooh, they're running it. Nope. <laughs> and there it is. There it is. Caleb Farley gets beat by Devonte Adams. And Aaron Rodgers converts on fourth down. We still have a chance to get the ball back, and with the way Sim works, we totally have a chance to win this game still, but we have got to stop them here. Absolutely no chance if they get a first down. <laughs> that is probably going to be the game. I was... Uh, hmm. Nice, nice. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. 
I missed. There's not much else I can do. I, at this point, at this point, we lost. Nothing I can do. I don't know why I was running so many linebackers for this, these games. I should have been, absolutely should have been. Uh, wow, Aaron Jones just absolutely cooks us to the outside too. No contain whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I had so many linebackers on the field at all times. That probably wasn't a good choice, but too late now, right? Um, they score another touchdown. We're just going to simulate the rest of this game. It is over, let's be real. Um, unless something crazy happens, like we get the onside kick, but that's just, it's not going to happen. It's, it's bad. And so, yeah, we lose this game. Honestly, I thought it was going to be closer than it was. We made a few really good plays. Or I guess it was really close, but like, eh, didn't feel that close. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the Titans team. I think they've got a shot to be good in the next few years. We'll see what happens with them. But uh, thank you guys for clicking on the video. I hope you loved it. I appreciate the support. Please like and subscribe for more stuff coming out soon. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.